Well, folks, here we are for the weekly forecast. Of course, we've got an impending snow event coming through the state and some bitter, bitter Arctic air that'll move in for the next couple days. During this last week, we did see periods of snow across the state. The most important accumulations were last weekend across the southwestern part of the state where anywhere from six to eight inches was very commonly reported, and that included the southern panhandle. And then, of course, as we got into the Monday time frame, we had a little snow event up in east, central, and northeast Nebraska that dumped anywhere from one to upwards of four inches of snowfall. So we're into an active pattern. It does look like we're going to see some significant moisture across portions of the state this weekend. Uh, for cattle producers, this could be really tough because we'd be looking at wind chill values that are going to be in the 20 to 30 below zero range with these high winds and bitter cold temperatures. And then we look for a big warm-up as we go into next week. So let's take a look at the upper air models and see what we have in terms of this forecast. And as we go to the upper air models. The thing I'll draw your attention to is a big system that come into California spreading that energy out into the plains and we have the cold Arctic air at the surface moving southward and the interaction of these two systems is likely to generate some significant snowfall, particularly across Kansas. But as we go through the day, we'll expect snowfall to gradually move its way southward. We're expecting up in north central, northeastern Nebraska in the area of two to three inches of snowfall. And then we'll be looking at one to two as we go, uh, as this system moves out into the south of the I-80 corridor. Now, as we go into tomorrow, we'll see the system trying to eject out into the southern plains, and that's going to bring moisture over top of this cold air dome. So across Kansas, we could be looking at easily six plus inches of snowfall. Southeast Nebraska, we could be looking at three to five and as you get to the I-80 corridor, basically another couple inches of snowfall. If this moves a little bit farther north, we could be looking at more than six inch accumulations south of Interstate 80, widespread from south central to southeast Nebraska. Now as we go into Monday, that system will, will rapidly move toward the east and we'll start to see the ridging pattern building back in and so we'll see a bump up in temperatures. We actually might even break the freezing mark across southwestern Nebraska, but we'll stay keep the cool conditions in northeast. Then another little wave starts to move down from the northwest flow on Tuesday and that might generate some light snowfall, particularly during the overnight hours across extreme northeastern Nebraska. But for the remainder of the state, we look to be fairly calm and indeed we'll start to see a pretty significant warm up as we see temperatures jumping up into the mid 40s across western Nebraska and we'll be pushing the 30 degree mark across eastern Nebraska. Now as we go into Wednesday, here comes another system and right now this system looks like it's going to clip north central and northeastern Nebraska with a chance of some snowfall, particularly during the overnight hours and into early Thursday morning. And then some very, very warm air will move into the region, particularly on Thursday as we see this bubble of high pressure moving in. We could see 60 degree readings across southwestern Nebraska and we easily could make it into the 50s across eastern Nebraska. But once again, here comes another storm system and that's expected to arrive early uh, Friday in the central Rocky Mountains and we'll start to push a cold front through the state generating snowfall across the northwest and that will move into our region as we get into Saturday. So as we look at the temperatures we're going to see some very cold temperatures this weekend and a nice moderating trend as we go into next week. In terms of the 8 to 14 day forecast, cold weather stays in the east and in terms of precipitation we see normal precipitation particularly with that system moving in as we get into next weekend.